one of the cool things we do with with the my Ford touch system is we have we do enhanced voice recognition so like I was saying all the bands have strange names Sade is you know really if you if you just read it it would be saved in excess is a strange name uh, Kesha the artist Kesha has a dollar sign <laughs> So the voice system has to understand that these are musicians. You are saying them the right way. You're pronouncing them the right way. So we help the voice system understand artists, band names, nicknames, uh, weird spellings, and things like that. So if you're calling up Creedence Clearwater Revival, we have a nickname in the database in the system for CCR. So you just say, play artist CCR. For Elvis, you could say, play artist The King. For Sinatra, you can say, play artist Old Blue Eyes. Uh, things like that, and I'll just show you real quick. Please say a command. Play artist the boss. Playing artist the boss. So we, it knows that the boss is Bruce Springsteen. It has that that nickname in the database. It's gonna bring him up, and then you get Bruce. You have all of P Diddy's names. Oh. Each time he changes it, <laughs> Fitty for Fifty Cent. Um, we have, we're an interesting company. We have all of these kind of editors based around the world that essentially are tracking trends in music and letting us know, you know, what are the hottest bands, you know, what these nicknames are, because we need to know what they are in every region of the world. Oh. We also localize our databases for cars for specific regions. So we can't assume that, you know, all popular mu music in the U.S. is going to be the same in England or Australia, even though the languages are the same. So we localize all of the databases for, uh, you know, popular music in those different regions. So they're going to get, you know, you know whatever's hot. Do you localize Bollywood for the Bay Area?